Mercedes never feared Lewis Hamilton retirement as Toto Wolff makes Michael Massey claim. Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff has insisted that Lewis Hamilton would have stayed in Formula One even if Michael Massey was not relieved of his duties by the fear ahead of the new campaign. Massey was removed from his post as F1's race director as part of a series of reforms announced on Thursday, with Neil Switich and Eduardo Freitas set to alternate in the role this year. Hamilton was previously said to be considering walking away from the sport as a result of Mossi's contentious interpretation of the rules at last year's title deciding Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. The 44-year-old was responsible for allowing Max Verstappen to close up to his Mercedes rival under the safety car before the Red Bull man clinched his maiden driver's championship title on the final lap. Verstappen reaped the rewards of Mossi's decision to ask only the five lapped cars between himself and Hamilton to unlap themselves under the safety car ahead of the one lap shootout that followed. Mossi's role in shaping the result caused plenty of controversy due to the widely held belief that all lapped cars should have been required to unlap themselves in such a scenario. Although Hamilton's future in F1 initially appeared to be under threat as a result of what happened in Abu Dhabi, Wolf has declared that the 37-year-old simply needed to come to terms with the situation before committing to Mercedes once again for the upcoming season. No, I think it was not about the race director or anybody else, it was about Lewis making peace with how the race ended, Wolf told BBC Radio 4. For him it's all about sporting fairness and that wasn't the case. He needed some time to reflect. He comes back strong and I've seen him in good spirits. I was never worried although you have to respect the driver and his disillusion in such events. We have a strong team and a great support so I knew that he was going to come back. Mossi's dismissal by the FIA was one of several changes announced by the governing body after an internal review of the events that took place in Abu Dhabi. The incoming race director pairing will be assisted by the establishment of a new virtual race control system, while communications between teams and those in command will be restricted when the on-track action resumes next month. FIA President Mohammed Ben Salem explained the changes in a lengthy video statement released on Thursday in which he also revealed that Massey would be offered a new position within the organization. To assist the race director in the decision-making process, a virtual race control room will be created, said Ben Salem. Unlike the video assistant's referee, VAR, in football, it will be positioned in one of the FIA offices as a backup outside the circuit. In real-time connection with the FIA F1 race director, it will help to apply the sporting regulations using the most modern technological tools. Secondly, direct radio communications during the race, currently broadcast live by all TVs, will be removed in order to protect the race director from any pressure and allow him to take decisions peacefully. It will still be possible to ask questions to the race director, according to a well-defined and non-intrusive process. Thirdly, unlapping procedures behind safety car will be reassessed by the F1 Sporting Advisory Committee and presented to the next F1 Commission prior to the start of the season. And finally, I would like to inform you that a new race management team will be put in place starting in Barcelona for the test session. Neil Switich and Eduardo Freitas will act alternatively as race director, assisted by Herbie Blash as permanent senior advisor. Michael Massey, who accomplished a very challenging job for three years as Formula One race director following Charlie Whiting, will be offered a new position within the FIA.